As Nigeria continues to record high rates of maternal mortality every year, the Nigerian Health Watch, in collaboration with its partners, organized its maiden edition of the Health Meets Arts Gala, themed Celebrating Womanhood. To recognize women in all diversity, showcasing their strengths and resilience, whilst also creating a space for positive dialogue to highlight the important need to accelerate progress towards reducing maternal mortality and greater equality in Nigeria. And we decided to organize this Celebrating Womanhood event today. We feel this is a critical time for us to raise discussions about the roles, the multiple roles women play in the diversity of their roles in society, be it the home carer, be it the businesswoman, be it the um, finance lady, whoever it is. We want to aspire to a Nigeria where every woman has opportunity. And today we've used the creative arts to explain this. The creative arts is a way for us to think about things in a different way. It helps us imagine things in ways we might not have thought before. Rather than just always using words, this is a visual dialogue we have when we see a painting. Today we worked with the Female Association of um, Artists in Nigeria and the Nigerian Gallery of Arts to create art pieces that really speak to the issue of not just celebrating women, but showing them in all their strength, in their resilience, but also highlighting some of the challenges that they face. The whole idea, the aim, was to bring people into the conversation, to expand that conversation beyond the healthcare workers, beyond the health experts, to help other people within the um, community to connect with the maternal health issue. Uh, maternal health is something that relates to everybody. We all have mothers, we all have sisters, we all have daughters, we all have aunties and nieces. We all know at least one person who has passed due to a pregnancy-related cause. So this is something that affects everyone in our society. Maternal health is a very important issue globally, not only in Nigeria, but for Nigeria in particular, why maternal health is an issue is because we're one of the countries of the world that has the highest rate of maternal deaths and newborn deaths and most of them are because of um, preventable causes so for me i think um, we need to talk about maternal health because we need to reduce it to the barest minimum no human being should die giving life the Celebrating Womanhood Arts Gala brings together stakeholders from diverse sectors to increase awareness and provide a forum for discussion on how we can break down the structural barriers that prevent women and girls from attaining their full potentials through arts. That we can do things differently. You know, art is, um, is something that uh, resonates with many of us and we love art. You know, even in our clothes is art, you know. So I think, you know, as Africans, we can talk about maternal health in different dimensions mentions and we should do that beyond just the four walls of a hospital. You know when you see Amina Mohammed who is Deputy Secretary General in the United Nations, when you see um, Ngozi who is um, head of the WTO now, that is really very impressive and to see all those women succeed and take up that challenge that is quite inspiring. I, I think this is a bit what we are doing as well. I, me, myself, as a female ambassador, the German ambassador to Nigeria, is to show if you can see it, you can be it. One of the paintings that I much appreciate and really like is this one called Aspirations. What you will see is a young girl. One of them is wearing a school uniform and the other is um, crying. You can imagine by looking at this painting what this is actually saying. The girl child is often neglected in Nigeria and we know that girl childs are critical because one day they will grow up to be the future mothers, the future businesswomen and the future productive um, people in our society. And so by depriving a girl child of going to school, you're depriving her of that opportunity to empower herself, to empower her family and to be, a, to be a member of society that can lead the country to grow. I have two daughters myself, so this is just one that I feel particularly drawn to. Um, you want to raise daughters that are strong. You want to raise daughters that um, can stand on any stage with any man, that can do anything that a man can do, that do not feel that there are limitations around them. And so I'm very invested in raising my girls to, to be warriors, to do great things for Nigeria, not just Nigeria, for the world. The artists who put together the pieces say they are inspired by the strength and resilience of the Nigerian woman. Now we have a painting of a young girl who aspires to be in school and 
another girl who is already in school. And whenever she sees her friends or other students going to school, she feels the pain of not going to school and, and she wants to be in the shoes of other students who are in school. The painting itself has a kind of, have this expression of instead of the child should be in school or trying to make things useful for herself, but she's in the arms of a man that she barely know. And in this process, she has suffered um, um, child um, mortality as a young um, child. 23% of maternal mortality being experienced all across the globe is actually happening here in Nigeria every day. About a thousand women die from giving birth or after they give birth, there's some complication or another. And the whole idea of this event is to ensure that women from all across the globe experience what a Nigerian woman has to go through to give birth. And paintings such as this one that actually shows the strength of a Nigerian woman gives us hope that tomorrow will be better than what we already have today. In Abuja, Amaka Uday, Arise News.